Hey, what's up you guys? It's UB Fire bringing you guys a Zhongli tips and tricks as well as a advanced mechanic guide for Zhongli. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already pulled for him and I'm going to be addressing some of the problems that I had while using him and better your combat. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. So first off the list, we are going to be using the beginner's protector, the grade one, very beginner's spear because I want to show you guys uh, the problem that I had, which is his combo. So one of the problems that I had with Zhongli was when you finish your full combo, you actually tend to push the enemy away. And when you start attacking again, you don't actually hit them anymore. So there is a couple of solutions that I did find to this, which was to actually finish his combo and then do your charge attack right away afterwards. So as you can see right here, I push him away with my full combo, but then I close the gap while using his, oh my God, I got frozen, while using his charge attack and you just close that gap when you push them away. So once again, you can see me hitting the Hilly Churl with my full combo, pushing him away, but I can't hit him in the next attack. And I do the combo that I just showed you guys, closing the gap, continuing my combo, and flowing. And then after that point, you could just basically rinse and repeat, charge, attack, and then you could just close the gap once again. The other solution that I found really useful was to just, when he does his spin attack with his spear, then you can then just do your tr charge attack right away. So for example, like this, charge attack right away and you can still keep attacking them uh, from behind. So that is another solution that I found really useful and helpful when using Zhongli. And then you could just mix and match the two combos, doing both of them at number of times. You can see there I used the uh, second variation and then for the first variation. Now another super, super simple solution from that is just to actually just attack. And then when he does his spin attack, you just jump and then you just keep doing the same thing over and over. And that way you could just keep on flowing and uh, from that way. But the reason why I really like using the charge attack is because he does a lot of damage with his charge attacks. So I really like just using his charge attacks instead. As you saw there, I did like around 2k. Also, don't be afraid to use your charge attack because when you use your charge attack, it doesn't take as much stamina as you think. You can see me using the charge attack and it's barely denting the stamina bar. As you can see right here, I'm spamming it, but it barely even moves. Now, sometimes the problem I run into is that when I use the second combo, it doesn't target the mage or the enemy that you were planning to aim for in the first place. So as you can see right here, I did the combo on the mage and was planning to attack the mage, but it then it just suddenly went to the character on the left side or the one with the shield. So for Zhang Yi's E, it can resonate with other geo structures. So as you see right here, there's pulses coming from the geo structures dealing geo damage over time. And because Zhongli's E can resonate with other geo structures, the geo mages or, or the totem that they create and they stand on, it will also resonate with that. So you can see two pulses coming from the ground from Zhongli's E as well as the mages totem. So if you're having trouble with the Geo boss, Zhang Li can be very, very helpful here. So if you place yourself correctly, you can use his ulti and hold his E to break these stone pillars really, really fast. As you saw there, if I place myself more correctly and better, then I would be able to hit all three of those stones with his ultimate and hold his E to break all of them at the same time. So the pretty cool thing about Zhang Li is that once you finish his combo, you can use his E to lift them up and then also deal fall damage just like that. Now, this only works against small to medium mobs, so it's not going to work all the time, uh, especially against like ruined guards or anything of that sort. So you can only do these against like small to medium mobs. Yeah. 
And when you put down Zhongli's E ability down and you ulti right next to it, it actually doesn't do the animation or like it doesn't turn the camera or any of that sort. As you can see, I am ulting with every single character, but there is no animation. I don't know if that makes it faster. Please let me know down in the comments below if like not seeing the animation is a lot more faster or whatnot, because it does feel a little bit more faster without the camera panning and turning back to the regular viewpoints. So maybe if you get a headache every single time the camera turns or whatnot, you could maybe try that out and use it. And with Zhongli's E, you can move NPCs. As you can see right here, I'm moving her bit by bit, pushing her out of the building she is in. Uh, there's absolutely no use for this, but it's just a thing that you can do. Another useful thing about his E is that if you tap and hold his E, it will break all the rocks instantly and it is super, super useful and his range is absolutely crazy and he is very, very good. Now in this clip right here, this will give you an idea of how huge his E range is in terms of breaking rocks. Like I am in the middle of both of those rocks and the range is just absolutely insane. I think it's a lot more bigger than Razor's. You can also make some pretty cool geographical sculptures as well. Anyways guys, I hope that this helped you into learning Zhongli a little bit more and understanding him and his combos and etc. And please let me know down in the comments below if there is any more tips and tricks that uh, I have missed or some new stuff has come up. Anyways guys, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good morning, have a good evening, and have a good night. Peace!